Today we're going to be talking about a couple different things to check on your Garmin Instinct 2 watch if you're having issues with the battery life not being what you expected it to be. Now I can get into a lot of different topics on this. Uh, there's things like how many notifications are you getting every day or you could simply turn off your Bluetooth capability so your watch isn't connected to your phone. All of that kind of stuff we're not going to get into. The purpose of getting a watch like this is that you've got some of those smartwatch features. So I'm not a big advocate of turning all that stuff off so you can maximize your battery life. If you're gonna turn all that stuff off, you might as well save some money and get a Casio G-Shock that just shows you the time, stopwatch, stuff like that. The purpose of the Garmin Instinct is to use some of those functions, but if you're noticing that your battery life is not good, there's two main things to go check on your watch and make sure that you really need them to be set the way they are. The first one we're gonna look at is the backlight. So obviously, the more your backlight turns on and the brighter it is when it turns on and the length of time it is when it's on, it's gonna be a big drain on your battery. So let's go look at our backlight settings. We're gonna press and hold the menu button. Now first, let me say, I'm using the Garmin Instinct 2 Solar. A lot of these things, a lot of these same principles apply to the Garmin Instinct 1. The only difference really between the 2 and the 1 is everything I'm gonna be showing you on the 2. You could also go make these uh, changes on the Garmin Connect app and send it over to your watch. Instead, we're just gonna be using the watch today. I'm gonna press and hold the menu button. Then I'm gonna use the up or down button, and we are going to go to system, press the GPS button to select system. Again, we're gonna use the up or down button. We're gonna go into backlight, press GPS to select backlight. So, you got two different options in here. You've got during activity settings for your backlight, in general use. Most of the time you're not going to be in an activity, so the one that I always recommend checking is your general use settings. We can press GPS to go into general use. The first thing you've got is your brightness. Now if you're somebody that really needs that brightness when it turns on, go ahead and crank it up. But if you don't, you'll see at nighttime, I had mine on 20%, even 10%, you'll usually be able to see the watch face just fine. The brighter your backlight is, the more battery it's going to drain. The other thing is how often is it turning on? For example, keys. Every time you press a key, does the backlight turn on or does it just turn on when you press the light button? So if you've got keys on, you might wanna consider turning that off so that every time you're doing something on your watch, it's not turning on. How about for alerts? Every time your watch gets an alert, is your backlight turning on or not? The wrist gesture, you're wearing the watch, you tilt your wrist towards you, is the backlight turning on every time? And then last but not least is your timeout. Again, when that backlight turns on, the longer it's on, the more battery life you're gonna be draining. So that's just a quick basic principle to check uh, with regards to battery life on your Garmin Instinct watch. Let's go ahead and go back to the main screen. The second thing is the biggest drain on your battery other than using the GPS. Obviously, if you're using the GPS or you forget to stop an activity and your GPS is running in the background, that's gonna be the biggest drain on your battery. But the second biggest is going to be the pulse oximeter. So let's go ahead and press the menu button on the left side. Again, we're gonna use the up or down button. This time we're going to go to, oops, did I miss it? Hmm. Health and wellness, there we go. Press the GPS button. Under health and wellness, you got a couple of different options. The heart rate monitor uses a lot of battery life as well. You could go into your heart rate monitor. The default status is auto. What that means is when the watch senses that it's on your wrist, the, the heart rate monitoring will be working. If you turn this off, it will only work whenever you want to do a heart rate check. Again, this is one I don't recommend turning off unless you just really aren't interested in the heart rate monitoring. You got this watch, it's got heart rate monitoring, leave that on, but the pulse oximeter is different because of the amount of battery it drains. If you go into it, you'll notice I've got mine set to manual check. That's going to be the least amount of battery use because the only way that pulse oximeter is gonna turn on is if I manually go into the pulse oximeter and do a manual check. If you've got it set to during sleep or for sure all day, that will be a huge drain on your battery. Again, if you've got health issues, breathing issues, uh, heart rate issues, and you need this, absolutely use it. But you can't complain that your battery life isn't that great if you're using it all day. Same thing with during sleep. If you're tracking your pulse oximeter while you're sleeping, it's gonna use a lot of battery life. Obviously, it won't use as much as all day, but it'll use a lot. So if you need it, great. If not, go check and make sure you've got this set to manual check. Those are just a couple things, you know, obviously Bluetooth, how many phone notifications are you getting, all of that kind of stuff. Are you paired with external devices? 
all of that's going to impact your battery life as well. But the two main things to check is the display brightness for your backlight and the pulse oximeter. I hope the video helps.